And so will our next guest. He's, he's the president's uh, uh, chief economic advisor. He's the director of the National Economic Council, and his name is Gary Cohn, and he joins us now. Sir, welcome to the program. Great to have you. Great to have you. Great to be with you. Thank you. I call it a solid jobs report, and I think it's the start of an expansion for the economy. Are we going to get 3% growth in the third or fourth quarters of this year? We could absolutely get 3% growth in the third and fourth quarter of this year. If you look at the cyclicality of the U.S. economy, we've sort of been having that in, in, in recent years. And I think what we're doing here in the White House and what we're going to do with our, our tax plan and what we're doing with hiring and what we're doing with corporations and getting them to move jobs back to America, I think it will be easy to get to 3% 3 3 growth in the third and fourth quarter this year. And how about 4% next year? What's, what's our shot at that? Well, Look, we're going to try. We're, we're doing our best. Uh, we're going to be uh, introducing a, a, a pretty interesting tax plan once we get done with health care in the summer. Uh, if we can get, when we get our tax plan done, we think that will be very accommodative to U.S. economy, U.S. growth. And we think that will be very stimulant for the U.S. economy. So we are very excited for next year. Well, uh, Senator McConnell, uh, Republican leader in the Senate, as I'm sure you know, sir, he said yesterday that uh, don't bet on getting the tax deal done by the August recess. I'm going to play that sound bite, Gary. Just hold on okay. a second. Roll tape, please. There are some constraints here. We, I don't want to get too much down in the legislative weeds, but we have to. We have two reconciliations to do. We have to to get the one that we're going to use for health care out of the way before we can go to the second one. I share your view that I think finishing on tax reform will take longer. But we do have to finish the, the health care debate up or down, win or lose, before we go to, 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 to taxes. If you can't get it done before the August recess, does the economy or the markets take a hit? No, absolutely not. We, we will continue to work on tax reform till we get it done. It is a stated objection, objective of the president to get tax reform done this year. We, we're actually prepared to work through the recess. We're prepared not to go on recess. We're prepared to stay here and work on it. But we can work on it in the fall. We need to get it done this calendar year. Senator McConnell could turn around and say, no recess. You deal with this stuff. Get on with it and do it now. He could say that. You're smiling. Are you putting pressure on Mitch McConnell to do that? Look, we're happy to stay here and work. We think tax reform is very important. The president ran on it as being part of his key agenda, key economic agenda. We think it's very important. We need to have a competitive tax structure in the United States. We are not competitive when it comes to corporate taxes in the world today, and we need to get competitive. It's important to us. We will stay here and work as long and as hard as we need to to get tax reform done. The border tax seems to be something of a sticking point for tax reform. Um, are you prepared to uh, let it go, walk away from it? All options are on the table. The first thing that we're going to work on, and probably the most important thing that we, we, we look at when we look at taxes, is rate. Corporate rate matters. Personal income tax levels and rates matter. We are looking at all options to get the rate lower, but we want to do things that are also stimulative to the economy, bring jobs back. As we started the day, we talked about jobs and the job growth here. We want to continue to see month after month job growth and wage growth, and we need a tax plan that's accommodated for job growth and wage growth. Will you absolutely guarantee, as far as you possibly can, that we will get a tax cut for businesses and individuals this calendar year? We are 100% committed to work on a tax plan that cuts rates for individuals and corporates. Okay. Does the president have enough votes to pass health care, the, the health care bill as it stands now? We are continuously working on the health care plan. The president has said, and he continues to believe this, that we are open to amendments that will make the plan better. We continue to work on making the plan better, and yes, the votes will be there in the end. You need the president to come on and weigh in on tax reform and Obamacare reform? I mean, use his muscle, use his, uh, his clout? The president is doing that. Mm -hmm. He's been having meetings inside the White House. He met with groups yesterday. He's meeting with groups today. He'll be meeting with groups over the course of next week. He's continuously pressing his agenda. He very strongly believes in the health care agenda, and he will continue to use uh, the White House and continue to have people in to talk about 
his health care agenda. It sounds like you're really working hard, you're banging the table, you want health care reform, you, I'm banging the table myself, you want <laughs> tax reform, but you can't quite guarantee that we're going to get it this year. You can't quite do that, can you? We're working as hard as we you, can. You'd to move get the done market what something wonderful done. if you would. If you'd just do that for me, sir, you'd move that market. <laughs> I know you would. <laughs> we're working as hard as we can to get done what we can get done. And we're, we're open to, to any suggestions, and we're working with everyone to try and get to the best place. Would you just give us a comment on Jamie Dimon, J.P. Morgan's chief? He turned around and said, President Trump's unleashed animal spirits. What do you make of that? No, I, look, there, there's some truth to that. We've seen more optimism in the CEO community in our first 50 days. Today marks our 50 days here in the White House, first seven weeks, than we've seen in a long time. We've had over 100 CEOs into the White House, and they each come in and tell us about what they're going to do in their business, the hiring they're going to do, the growth they see, the opportunity they see, the ability to, to bring jobs back to America. So, yes, Jamie's right. There are animal spirits out there. You're a New Yorker. You're a Wall Street guy. You're a Goldman Sachs guy. And suddenly, you're dropped in the deep end of politics in D.C. Are you having a good time? Well, I'm learning a lot, I can tell you that. <laughs> That's not a straight answer. <laughs> it's a totally straight answer. I'm learning a lot. Gary Cohn, it was a pleasure, and thanks for joining us, sir. Appreciate it. And thank you for having me on. Yes, sir.